Hey, I'm Corey. Welcome to my studio. Today we're going to talk about floral tape. Let's go. I wanted to talk to you today about floral tape because it's a magical substance. I was a floral designer, which was the first time I came in contact with this stuff. And I say this stuff because it's really not like tape, typical masking tape or duct tape or something like that, that you are familiar with. It's not sticky on one side. Um, this stuff is also sometimes called stem wrap or corsage tape. Um, of course, it's most often used by floral designers and florists if they're wrapping a bouquet or a corsage or a boutonniere, something like that. Um, of course, it's also used by paper flower artists and, and that's of course why I use it because I make paper plants. Um, both paper flower artists and florists will use floral tape or stem wrap to do just that, cover the stem of a flower or connect a wire to a stem or to connect multiple stems together or multiple wires together. What is it? So floral tape is a crepe paper-like substance that has been coated in wax. And the wax is released when the paper tape is stretched. And that's when it gets a little bit sticky and it only really sticks to itself. It's not gonna stick to my cutting mat here, and it just barely sticks to my finger. And that's probably because of the heat of my hand, you know, that's making the wax stick to it. So this stuff comes in a lot of different colors. Um, just on my table here, I have, of course, red and blue and every shade of green that you can almost imagine. And Fun colors too, like orange and pink and purple. Um, it also comes in gold and glitter varieties for those um, projects that require that. And of course, almost every shade of brown. Lots of different manufacturers make this stuff and I've found that some are better than others. So what I'm gonna do is put my favorite um, retailers in the description box uh, so that you guys can find the ones that you like to. Um, it does come in half inch and one inch widths. Uh, typically I'm only using the, or most often I'm only using the half inch. So how do you use it? It does take a little bit of practice to get used to it. Um, so when you're first learning, just go ahead and accept that. Buy an extra roll so you can practice, practice, practice. Because really, ultimately, what you want is to be able to fully cover um, your stem or your wire and have it be nice and smooth and not lumpy or bumpy. So let me show you how I do it. First thing you wanna do is go ahead and pull off a length of this because you don't want the roll getting in your way. You don't wanna find yourself having to unwrap more as you're working. It's just a better habit to get into to go ahead and pull out um, a couple feet of length. What you wanna do is start at the end of your wire. You're really just taking that first end and pinching it and wrapping it tightly around the end of the wire. If you're left-handed, you'll just do this, of course, the opposite way. Um, but the first thing I'm doing is I'm really um, pushing my thumb and first finger together, almost like there's like gunk on my fingers and I'm trying to get it off. And that sort of motion is what I'm doing to twist the wire while also pinching and smooshing it on to cover the wire. And with my right hand, I'm pulling the tape. You need to pull it taut in order to release that wax. So I'm pulling it taut simultaneously twisting and smushing with my right hand. And you can see because of that angle, the tape is really covering the wire and it doesn't take a lot of product to do so. So you just keep twisting and pinching with your left hand and pulling taut. Not too taut because um, it will break or tear. So it's about finding that balance about how taut, which is why I say you need to practice. Now, once you're done, um, let's see, let's get all the way to the end here. All you need to do is give it a quick tug and then finish off by 
twisting and smushing that end onto your wire. Your goal is to have a nice smooth coverage. Okay, so I wanna show you a little trick. If I know I'm going to be covering a lot or assembling a lot of things together, this flying around on my table tends to drive me a little crazy. So I have um, one of these quick clamps and all I do is clamp it to my table. and slip this over the top. That way I can pull off all I need and it's not getting in my way, it's not flopping around on the table and I can just get to the work that I need to do. So I wanna show you sometimes what happens when people first get started using floral tape. And I would call this the wrong way, both because it's not gonna stick as well and because it doesn't look as good. So um, people might have the tendency to wanna to go like this. And as you can see, you're not only wasting a lot of product, but you're not able to get that um, nice smooth coverage. So I would really encourage you to try to learn the technique that I showed earlier. Here are a couple of my paper leaves. And say I'm ready to assemble a vine or assemble my plant, and I want to connect this to here. Sometimes it can be difficult to get you know, both sets of fingers and the tape up here as close as you wanna be with that leaf in the way. Um, so sometimes in that case, what I'll do is I'll start a little bit below and I use the same technique and I just sort of back up and go the other direction first. You know, in this, in this time, because I'm going that way, I'm actually pulling the tape more at an angle away from me. And then once I've covered that, I switch directions and get going in the, the way that, you know, allows me to cover the entire wire. Other thing you might encounter is if you're trying to connect multiple stems together, what can happen is they don't want to stay in place. And they can start to sort of twist around and you don't get a smooth finish. So what I suggest in that case is to go ahead and tack it. And if it's easier for you, you can use a smaller piece of floral tape. Holding it tight, tack it in place, and here you see I'm using the bad technique. That's just so I can really use my left hand to keep those wires right where I want them um, and wrap it that way. And I might go ahead and do the same thing in a few spots down the length of the wire. And that's because it allows everything to stay lined up and in place without the wires twisting around each other. I'm just checking that they're all lined up where I want them to be. And I'm going to tack them down. This is kind of like making a basting stitch, you know, when you're sewing. You know it's uh, not the thing that's gonna hold it all together in the end, but it keeps you on track. And I'll probably do another one down here. So once you've done that, then of course you can um, continue to cover the whole uh, group as you would normally. So that's one trick. Another thing that I do is if I'm making a um, stem that happens to have a wider base. You know, a lot of times a plant will have a, a thicker stem as it's closer to the soil. Uh, so you can do that with the floral tape. You know, one way would be to um, just keep wrapping and wrapping and wrapping, but of course that wastes material a little bit. So what I've done here is torn a little piece of um, paper towel and just covered it with the floral tape in order to mimic that stem with a wider base. What else do I wanna to talk to you about? Oh yes, so another thing that can happen um, and say up here I have attached 
you know, multiple wire stems together. And I want to extend the length of my stem or my wire stem. So I'm like, oh, well that wire ends there. And oh, if I just cover this, maybe it won't be strong enough or maybe it will be lumpy bumpy on the other side of this wire. So what you can do is just add in some wire right underneath where the other one ended. Probably you have to tack it in place first. And it might take more than one wire to bulk it out. Then work down the length of the stem. Okay, there's one more little trick I wanna show you. And that's if you've attached a whole bunch of leads to your wire and my trick of twisting while you're pulling is no longer working, which is possible. You know, this just gets too heavy and weighs down your project and it's not easy to do that twisting me method. What you can do is uh, tear off a little piece and do it more or less the wrong way. Um, but you just have to be careful that you're um, always pulling to release that wax while you work down the length of the wire. And this is probably just gonna happen when you're at the end of your project and it's not possible for you to lift it up to do that twisting motion with this hand anymore. Um, it's a little more tedious, but it will get the job done to finish off your stem. Okay, thanks for hanging out with me today. I will probably do this again. Uh, maybe next time I'll talk about wire. Uh, thanks, see you soon. Bye.